From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning from the Penn State Campus Weather Service. I'm Weston Boyd here with your Tuesday morning forecast. Looking at our, at our current conditions right now, we are seeing quite a dreary sky in front of us this morning. Uh, we have those uh, light rain showers that are still coming down uh, persisting after yesterday's system moved through. Uh, we're also still seeing, still seeing some sleet on the ground from yesterday as well. Um, temperatures are now still a bit chilly, um, sitting at uh, 34 degrees. Uh, the vis visibility is again quite reduced due to this precipitation, um, and we're looking at calm winds right now. And then looking at temperatures across the Commonwealth, um, in the western portions of the state, we're seeing those temperatures climb up to uh, even as high as the mid 40s. Uh, however, in the uh, eastern portions of the state, uh, they're still sitting at about the mid 30s, uh, a little bit chillier. But still, any precipitation that's coming down is mostly uh, rain, except for the northeast portion of the state. Uh, and then looking at the state um, as a whole, again, higher rel relatively temperatures in the western portions of the state. Um, and Philadelphia, although, is um, hitting 41 degrees right now. Uh, looking at the temperature change in the past 24 hours, uh, we have seen quite an increase in the western portions of the state. Um, some increases even are reaching the teens, which is um, quite insane. And, uh, but not much change in the eastern portions of the state, however. Uh, looking nationwide at this trend, uh, again, along most of the eastern seaboard, we are seeing a warmer mass of air uh, move through. Um, but looking at the Midwest, there is a colder mass of air that's gradually trekking its way across the country, and we will see that arrival of this colder air on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Uh, looking at the winds across the Commonwealth, we're calm here in State College, but the western portions of the state are seeing uh, some significant winds. We're even hitting uh, 20 in Johnstown, uh, 20 miles per hour. Uh, looking at the radar that we've seen over the past few hours, uh, over last night, uh, rain, lingering rain showers are still in place for much of the Commonwealth. Uh, and again, we're still seeing some snowfall in uh, the northeast, northeastern portions of the state. Um, and again, this is due to, in part, the system that moved through yesterday, and that's still bringing uh, snow to much of New England as, uh, at this moment, too. Uh, kind of zoning in, uh, zooming in to the Commonwealth specifically, uh, looking at the cloud cover. Uh, that cloud cover is still in place uh, right now, but this should clear up as we move throughout the day to make way for uh, a nice sunny afternoon. And uh, those clouds should remain mostly out of the way as we look into tomorrow. Um, but looking at Thursday morning, we are seeing an arrival of another weak system that should bring some light showers to the area. Nothing too significant, though. You don't need to bring your umbrella or anything. Uh, again, there are those uh, Thursday morning showers, as you can see. Uh, they move out of the way on Thursday, but a Friday morning, that's when we see the arrival of our next significant system that should bring uh, a pretty significant snowfall to uh, many portions of the state, especially the northern and eastern portions. However, as we move through the day on Friday, most of this precipitation will turn to rain, um, and the heaviest precipitation will exit the region on Saturday. There is a chance of some lingering snow showers, but I don't, I don't think that's too likely. Uh, looking at our conditions that we it can expect for today, uh, the high we will probably see of, uh, in the mid 40s of about 45 degrees. Again, a chance of some AM rain showers. Uh, winds a little bit breezy, um, starting out from the south but moving to be from the west at uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour uh, with gusts expected of up to 30 miles per hour. Looking forward to tonight, uh, we're going to see a low of 24 uh, with partly cloudy skies and those winds chill out a little bit sitting at uh, about 5 to 7 miles per hour out of the west. Looking into tomorrow, we should have a pretty nice day in store for us uh, with temperatures um, reaching 53 degrees. Uh, there is a chance of some uh, morning fog, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, and those winds um, might be a little bit breezy tomorrow, too. And now looking at the seven-day forecast, uh, again, the chance of morning rain showers for today. Um, a nice sunny afternoon for both today and tomorrow um, before we see the arrival of another week's system on Thursday morning, um, uh, preceding the main significant system that will pass through the, the Commonwealth on Friday, bringing rain and snow to many portions of the state. 
Um, however, we should dry up looking into the weekend, and any snow accumulation that we will get should clear up um, as we look into the weekend. Um, and then looking seven days ahead, uh, we have a nice sunny day in store for us on Monday. So get excited. All right, from the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I am Weston Boyd. Thank you for joining me for this Tuesday morning forecast. I hope you have a great rest of your day.